Good evening, this is Gabriel Jackson, and welcome to BJC Mitzvah Day. Number 74, using the Sefer Chinuch. A Mitzvah Day keeps us on its way. The prohibition for a judge to listen to one litigant's claim when the other litigant is not present. So exciting, a new Mitzvah. We did 11 parts. That's a record for number 73. Hopefully will be, this will be much shorter. And once again, this Mitzvah is dedicated for a foolish lemma to my dear mother, Fega Muskolda. Her arm should feel much better after a break. We wish you to be back to normal, better than ever, Mom. We love you. Mwah. Here we go. Once again, the prohibition for a judge to listen to one litigant's claim when the other litigant is not present. In the Hebrew, lo sisa, shemashav, do not accept a false report. And this is in Exodus, the second book, Parshas Mishpatim. We are commanded that a judge shall not hear the claim of one litigant while not in the presence of the litigant's adversary as well. As it is stated in Exodus, do not accept a false report. The Chinuch explains why a claim registered in such fashion is called a false report. The reason that listening to a litigant's claim in private is called accepting a false report is because people in litigation have a tendency to speak false words when they are not in the presence of their adversaries, as they are not embarrassed to lie when no one is there to challenge them. The judge is therefore commanded regarding this issue, namely not to listen <clears throat> to one litigant while the other is absent, so that he should not allow into his consciousness the lies of one of the litigants. And so has the explanation of this verse been transmitted to us by our sages in Mechilta in Exodus, that this prohibition of do not accept a false report was stated in regard to this law. The Chinuch explains further that this prohibition is a multifaceted one. In addition, the sages stated there in Mechilta that this verse also serves as a scriptural, scriptural injunction upon a litigant, teaching that he likewise may not present his claims to a judge while not in the presence of his adversary, even if the judge should indicate that he desires to hear the claims while the adversary is absent. The Chinuch adds another source for prohibiting this practice. In regard to this matter, it is also stated in Exodus, Distance yourself from a false word. The Chinuch explains that our verse serves to prohibit other activities as well. The sages of blessed memory state further in Makos that this prohibitory verse do not issue a false report, do not accept a false report, includes also a prohibition upon one who speaks Lashon Hara, disparaging speech, as well as a prohibition upon one who listens to and accepts Lashon Hara. And it further includes a prohibition upon one who presents false testimony. Okay, so we will stop there. Continue this mitzvah tomorrow, God willing, to sponsor future mitzvah 36 for the gold. And we'll see you tomorrow.